Dr. Gimbel, uh, showing the carousel technique. Dr. Guy Canoli in Texas uh, demonstrated this decades ago, but we don't hear it talked about much now, but in refractive lens exchange where the nucleus is quite soft, it's kind of fun to use this technique and it's quite effective because the material just keeps coming to the port if you can just start it rotating and keep teasing it in that direction. It's important to clear new, uh, cortical material very effectively and I like to aspirate lens epithelial cells and I find that this silicone IA tip is very effective with the vacuum setting maximum of about uh, 30 millimeters of mercury. And with the angled tip one can reach more of the circumference of the capsule than with a straight tip. I'm careful not to go too close to the equator because the capsule is loosely attached at the equator. The zonules are attached a, a distance away from the equator so one has to be careful in the equatorial area not to put vacuum to the capsule. Or if you are out that far use of uh, practically no vacuum like two millimeters of mercury like we're using here for the polishing a vacuum of maximum three. This is a cohesive viscoelastic for intraocular lens insertion. Using a 2.2 millimeter incision we're using the wound here to uh, keep the fold of the lens as it's injected. And I just keep pushing that plunger out to use it as a spatula to get the trailing haptic into the capsule. For viscoelastic removal, I push down a little bit on the lens while I use high vacuum so that it doesn't propeller around with risk to the capsule. 